very quickly. Uh, number 15, page 35. The quick witted page and the hot coal. On New Year's Day at Edo Castle, the Shogun Tokugawa Yoshimune was about to receive ceremonial congratulations from various lords and went with several pages to see that all was in readiness. He walked into the room just as an official was placing hot coals in the brazier with a long handled tool. Flustered at the shogun's sudden appearance, the official dropped a live coal on the tatami matting. He cried out in shock, but it was too late. The matting had started to smolder and smoke. Just then, one of the pages behind the shogun, a boy of 12 or 13, darted out, grabbed the coal in his long kimono sleeve, and tossed it out into the garden. Then he dipped his burning sleeve in the cistern on the veranda. Everyone let out a sigh of relief at the boy's quick-witted action. The shogun looked him over carefully and then said, Stand up and stretch out your arm. The boy did so. Turn it over. Yes, sire. That's strange. You doused the fire in your sleeve with water just now, didn't you? Yes, sire. And yet your sleeve isn't either scorched or wet. Yes, it is. See? The boy revealed the blackened, wet sleeve of his under kimono. Damaging his holiday kimono would have meant he couldn't perform his role in the coming ceremony. Thinking quickly, he had grabbed up the coal under his under kimono instead. The shogun was amazed at his resourcefulness. That little page grew to become a great man, chief senior counselor Tanuma Okitsugu, who instituted monetary reform. Anyone who would achieve great things must be able to pay close attention to little things and make quick judgments. Yeah, it's a very powerful story. Uh, we are um, maybe six days away from Thanksgiving holiday and get togethers. Who knows how many people when they get together because of lack of wisdom, they say something or something drops and, you know, some accident happens and People make a drama out of it and, you know, they ruin the atmosphere. Just like it could have ruined the atmosphere here too. But this teenage boy, very young, he had so much wittiness that he ran and he grabbed the hot coal with his under kimono and nothing, as if nothing happened. Not only did he prevent the flooring uh, from getting damaged, but his own holiday kimono was safe because he used the under kimono sleeve to do it. So to be able to have this kind of quick wittedness, this only comes when we move towards the light, um, light of true happiness and we engage in acts of giving and benefiting other people, even if we have to let go of our own uh, comfort and, and uh, desires. The more we engage in such good acts, the more we become aware of the workings of our own mind the more resourceful uh, and wise we also become. So that's the benefit of going forward. It's a side product, obviously. The ultimate goal is experiencing enlightenment of a Buddha, but there are many, many side products, uh, byproducts as well. So good job, everyone. And today's Friday, we're going to have the advanced group session at 5 p.m. by Morita Sensei and the Purpose and Meaning Lab at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, hosted by Rick. Take care, everyone. Bye.